It's Autodesk University 2009. I'm Ralph Bond. We're here this morning with Ted Reeler of Ambercore, and we've got a fascinating story to tell. I'm going to start off, though, with a quick question. Ted, uh, tell us a little bit about Ambercore and, and what your role is with the company. My role, I'm the Director of Projects and Technology at Ambercore, and uh, Ambercore is a 4D company. Now, what that means is, is 3D spatial data, but also over time. And we provide spatial data solutions to industries including energy and mining and infrastructure and transportation. But now in particular, we are experts in laser scanning technology from end to end. Now laser scanning is also called LIDAR, which means light detection and ranging. Uh, the laser reflects off objects and accurately measures their spatial positions. Right. You can use the laser from a helicopter or from a moving vehicle or on a tripod, and it creates a cloud of millions and sometimes billions of 3D data points from which you can make accurate 3D models. So that's the underlying technology. Now we've been collecting LiDAR data from the air since the start of the technology over a decade ago. Our TerraPoint division is considered a leader in airborne data collection. And not only that, we also manufacture the Titan mobile laser scanning system. Wow. And these are systems that can be placed on a moving vehicle like a truck, and it can travel at highway speeds collecting laser data. And it's collecting survey grade data of everything that the laser reaches. So we have very powerful software as well made by our 40 IQ division and that very efficiently processes these billions of points to visualize them or to extract information from them and this is where the interest lies. So uh, our headquarters in Ottawa, Canada but we also have offices in Houston, in Europe and also in South Africa. Can you tell us about Ambercore's recent announcement about point cloud functionality in Autodesk products? Yes, uh, the, the powerful software made by our 40 I, IQ division includes the Ambercore Point Cloud Engine. Now this software engine is the one that efficiently processes those billions of laser scan LiDAR points. Now Ambercore is very pleased to announce that our po this Point Cloud technology has now been incorporated into the AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010 and AutoCAD Map 3D 2010 into the subscription advantage packs which were released in October of 2009. So these releases are the first products of Autodesk to incorporate Ambercore's technology which provides this valuable new functionality to import and store these billions of points uh, and to efficiently retrieve the points for visualization. And we're very confident that this new functionality of point clouds is very significant to Autodesk customers and we look forward to ongoing collaboration with Autodesk. Ted, I understand that prior to this significant announcement, we had the rich point cloud data, of course, but to kind of use layperson's terms, the data would be dumbed down or reduced in its richness in order to get it into a design software package like Civil 3D. Now, the richness of that data can come into these programs. Is that correct? That's correct, Ralph. Uh, while the laser and LiDAR uh, point collection technology has increased and now collects billions, sometimes tens of billions of points. It's very difficult uh, for these uh, points to be put into the uh, in, in, into software, and so uh, the solution up to now has been to basically dumb down or lose a lot of that right. data and make it simple enough. This. Uh, technology now allows all of that richness to come in and to be efficiently accessed and extracted. That's a significant breakthrough. Ted, let's discuss this further. What is the importance of point clouds to Autodesk users out there? Well, Ralph, the advantage of LiDAR point clouds is that they provide a very accurate measurement framework for the surface geometry. That means terrain surfaces, uh, roadways, bridges, uh, exterior and interior of buildings, and even the inside of a factory or a facility. And you can use the point cloud data to create things like digital elevation models, contour data, cross sections and profiles, uh, digitizing as-built features for design projects, uh, visualizing power lines and surrounding vegetation for right-of-way management, but basically people are able to visualize and analyze data in 3D and better build their high-precision 3D models. 
Now, the major disadvantage of point clouds is because of the enormous numbers of data points and large data, data files. And they've been difficult to visualize and difficult, difficult to categorize in the real world into features, surfaces, and objects. And that's why the power of the Ambercore point cloud engine is so important. Well, that's fascinating. What is Ambercore's strength in point cloud technology? So the Ambercore point cloud engine is able to efficiently process these billions of points. So CAD users using this technology, they're able to quickly import, efficiently view uh, virtually unlimited volumes of LiDAR point cloud data. Uh, this is the capability which has now been licensed and incorporated into the Autodesk products. Well, let's steer into the crystal ball for a moment. What about future plans for point cloud technology? Well, Ralph, a major value of the point cloud data sets comes from the detailed information that can be extracted from all these billions of points. So because our software can process the large point cloud data sets very efficiently, we're now using this power to go in and extract detailed 3D and 4D data from the point clouds. But we're not only extracting this information, but we're doing it automatically. Uh, for example, in the case of point clouds collected from a plane, the technology can automatically separate the ground surface from the features above the surface. It can be configured to automatically identify and extract features like uh, complex building structures, power lines, overhead wires, poles, light standards, and other distinct objects like that. Then it represents them in forms like vector 3D lines or symbols or 3D shells, which people are used to dealing with. Uh, the data is a lot smaller now, and they don't have to deal with those billions of point clouds, but it's extracted the richness out of that data set. Uh, we can also fuse together airborne and mobile LiDAR data right. for improved feature object extraction to get more detail. And uh, the underlying technology is generic, and so we can also apply it to smaller objects in the industrial indoor CAD settings as well. So basically, point clouds are very rich in the accurate spatial information, and extracting that information automatically is what Ambercore is, is doing. That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much, Ralph.